Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to use Google Plus Circles. Okay, so one of the big differentiators that Google Plus has that Facebook doesn't is the use of circles. Uh, basically what these are, are well, they're circles. Uh, Google calls them social circles and you can use them to categorize your different contacts. So you can have them as friends, family, people you want to follow, etc, etc. One of the uses for this uh, is that when you are typing stuff, typing a post, like a, a status update we'll call it, um, you can actually select the different circles you want to share it with. So you can say, type whatever it is it may be, tap in here, and then you can select any of the different circles that you have. Uh, and this post will only be visible to people within that circle. Uh, and they'll be notified about it and everybody outside of that circle will not. So this comes in handy, for example, maybe you talking about a drunken night you and your friends had. You don't want your family to see that or maybe your coworkers to see that. You can select friends only and this way only your friends would see that post. Okay, so another neat little use for the circles uh, are to stop annoying your friends with stuff that they don't care about. What I mean by that is, for example, we can create a new circle. And let's pick a topic that I know some of my friends and I are all interested in. So let's put football, for instance. Create a circle. And now I'm going to put people into this football category that I know like to talk about football. So we'll throw them in there. Okay, and then what I can do is when I click home, and I go to my stream, I can do my little post about how awesome a certain team was, whatever it may be, and then select that circle only. And this way what happens is that post that I'm doing about football that a lot of my friends could care less about, only the people that I know share the same interest as I do are, are going to see this post and they'll respond, etc. Uh, and this way I don't annoy everyone else. Okay, and finally another use for uh, the circles is to control what information you see in your stream. So for instance, when you click on your home page for your Google Plus account, it's going to show you your stream of every single person in all of your circles. Now what you can do is you can narrow that down. Say I only want to see what my friends in that circle are up to. See what my family is up to. People that I'm following professionally. Uh, I also, let's for example, I created a circle for the friends that I know that live near me. So this way I can see what's going on around me, for instance. And this is great because it allows me to organize all that incoming information uh, in the stream into certain categories that I might be interested in, uh, which is something Facebook doesn't let you do.